Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Caroline's Saucy Kitchen. Haven't done this for a while. Um, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, I thought I'd show you my easiest dessert ever, which is so delicious. And I know my sister Vivian wants to know how to make this. So it's got literally one, two, uh, four, five ingredients. Um, you need puff pastry sheets ready made, which you can get. I use strawberries, one cup of milk, uh, whipped cream, about a cup, but you can buy it here already made, and jello pudding. So what we do, I'm going to show you quickly. The puff pastry sheets I leave in the fridge overnight, so they uh, defrost. I'm only going to show it with one to save my um, using it all up. So basically, you're going to cut this in half. And then I put them together and cut them again. And so, so I've got four pieces like this. And then you're going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and they're going to puff up. And by the magic of television, I happen to have some here already puffed and ready. Once they come out in 15 minutes, let them cool on the rack for about 10 minutes, say, and then you can actually cut them in half. So then just, I like these sort of sizes because they're not too much. Who wants a big mouthful? Nobody. Anywho, so right, so they're there. So now we've got to make the lovely mixture. So one cup of milk in here, and then we're going to add jello vanilla pudding. Oh, I should have opened this earlier. So usually on these packets, it says to add two milk, two cups of milk, but we only want to use the one. Oof. So we're going to pop that in the milk and this might be a little noisy, so bear with me for a moment. Talk amongst yourself. And basically, you just whip that all together. If you can see that. Simple as anything. And I trust me, no one's going to believe this dessert was so simple. They're going to be very impressed with you. I'm giving away my secrets. Everyone thinks I work so hard on this dessert, and it's really nothing. You pop in your cool whip, mix that all in as well, and then you're going to whisk that all together. So you can see that, it's lovely and creamy, absolutely scrumptious this is. I must admit, I wouldn't be a fan of jello pudding normally, but this is so yummy. Right, that's all done, all nice and easy. And then the strawberries, that's what I like to use. Use blueberries, blackberries, any fruits you like, but obviously with Valentine's, strawberries is normally the one. I just slice them up. And then basically, we're gonna assemble them. Gosh, I feel almost out of breath, I've never done this so quick before. Oh, what happened to my spoon? So basically you get a dollop of your mixture. So don't do too much because otherwise it's gonna squirt everywhere when you take a bite. No one wants to see that. Um, and then you dollop on some strawberries. So as many as you can fit on your little puff pastry. I guess I'll do four there. And then I'm gonna to top it with my pastry topping. And you pop that there. And, mm, excuse me, um, I'm gonna do one more. I don't make these all in advance. I used to, but then what happens is they get soggy. The pastry gets a bit of a soggy bottom. Nobody likes that, do they? As per Mary Berry. So um, again, pop your strawberries on and then pop the top back on. And sorry, make my fingers. And then I'm just gonna do those couple for now. Uh, where's my powdered sugar? I like to get a little powdered sugar and sprinkle that over the top and <laughs> not quite like a TV, but there you go. There's a couple to see. Shvik and I are going to have them now. Oh, I just thought of something. Do you know what would be lovely? Sorry. I just had a vision. Um, I did open this last night and had way too much, but I just happened to have one little glass of champagne left. So as it's going to be our Valentine's treat, and I've literally got a little bit left, Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Love you all. Mwah. Bye.